we were about to go Grand Flagration with Cole Daly and I believe Johnny Gardner. So uh, on the front row, let's see the Grand Flag. One thing you gotta watch about this uh, preparation is you gotta you gotta give and take, and if you don't do that, you're gonna have a lot of problems here. And oh boy, just as I was saying, there's a 70, 70 gun, you know, and there's a couple guys off. And we got problems. I don't know if the caution is out. Yes, it is. We have a lot. We have, we have a lot of problems back there. But Johnny Gardner is in the lead right now. Johnny Gardner has not had uh, the best of season, if you would say. But uh, he has come. He has come out in a few races and really shown how. You know how good that Penske 77 car can be. And he's done a pretty uh, he's done a pretty great job getting the pole here today, and he's showing out here today. And he's got the lead, and that 09 car is trying to catch him, but Johnny Garner's gonna lead it. Let's see if these guys are still backed up over here. No. Uh, let's take a look at what happened. And as I was saying. There seemed to be a lot that was going on. There you see it right there. There's just a clog jam right there. That's the usual stuff that happens here. Oh man, the 20 came in there. Big time. You see again, Eric Burton. Started up here with these guys though. The 60 went around the 21, the 19 went around the 4. A few of these guys just plow in here. 33. Oh. This, when, you, when you had that happen, you just uh, 58 to 64. 58's on top of somebody. That is the 25. Uh, Andres Allen is stopped in the middle of the track. Uh, who is that? There's Eric Burton. There's a 60. There's, oh, oh, here, oh, oh, he got hit by, it. he got hit by it a couple people, but I think they got away. So I believe up here, Gene Sanford went off the racetrack. Oh, whoa, whoa, she went, she got, she, uh, she got way in the where she was going. Oh, oh my God! Wow. That was that was hitting your target at your finest. I mean, she just lost it right there, and you know, she was having too much McDonald's. She goes, bang! Oh my God! I don't know who that was over there. Oh, the 22, the 43. I don't know what happened right here, but that was big. I did not see this happen. The 99 just. Oh my, oh man, 22, I know where to go, and then, oh, 43, uh. Looks like, uh, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight cars out right now. A lot of these guys, uh, had a walking good and bit them already. That is straight out, and that's going to be kind of interesting to see right here what, what's going to happen when he stayed out. Uh, let's take you back to the green flag as Johnny Gardner and the rest of you guys come up to the back. So we're back green flag racing. Oh, Johnny Gardner just spun out. But anyway, Ian Dutt is still in the lead. Here comes the 09 on uh, pressure tires. But here comes the 83. 83 right behind those guys. I believe the caution. No, it's not. Oh, but it might be after this part. Oh, boy. Oh, the 83 and the 31 got together. Green. There's still green flag. Somehow. Oh, the. Oh, there's still green flag. I don't know how they are. But there's still green flag. Ian Dutta. Are they still green flag right now? 
they're still green flag. I don't know how they're still green flag, but they are. Ian Dutt is in the lead right now. Rob Williams is catching him. But, oh, he goes a little bit off. Rob Williams gains on him. And there's the caution. There it is. I knew it was about to come out sooner or later, and the caution just came out here. Second time the caution came out. Ian Dutt is in the lead. Let's see what happened back here. We got a couple guys on pit road. Oh, Ian Dutta is in the lead right now. Let me see what happened here. And bring the caution out. It looks like uh, it looks like the caution happened in turn one. That 09 was catching Ian Dutta. But Ian Dutta is going to lead. So the pitch strategy is help helped Ian Dutta a bit. Got that car out front. Got some fresh air under the nose. So he's going to be leading right now. And he's going to. Yeah. So yeah. This is what happened to John Gardner. Johnny right right behind the 32 he's right up on him he's gonna bump him and try to get by him right here but then he loses it and then he's gonna back it into the wall but then I don't know what brings the caution out right here Still green flag and then all the way around until right here. There you see it. Then the yellow flag came up. Oh, it was way back. Oh man, we had we had some way we had a big incident back here. We had about five to six cars involved in this. I don't know what happened here. Looks like the 39, the Trent Dunham, and the 38. Oh my God, Dylan Young ran him up. Oh, then the 64 got a piece of it, but she's just gonna spin. But then it's one, two, three, four, five, five cards right here, and Dylan Young took the, took the big part of that. I mean, Dylan Young, Dylan Young could have gave a little bit more room, but he didn't. And then there you see the, oh, Michael, oh, Michael hit him right there. One, two, three, four, five, so that's a tough break right there for D. D Young. He's in the top ten of points right now. He got involved in the wreck at the beginning of the race, and this is not exactly what he needed at all. So let's take you back to green flag race with Ian Dunn in the lead after pitch strategy to get him track position. I got most of you guys uh, pitting now. The only one I think that didn't pit is there's Johnny Gardner still on pit road. It's the guys up front like, that stayed out. Dylan Pote was in there, and a few more of them. There you can see Dylan Young out of the race. Uh, I think Kevin White and those guys, they were involved in that incident. With Most of these guys that were involved are out were from that first rack. Uh, D Young, uh, uh, Jacob Stump, Trent Dunham, Justin Talampis who were involved in that last wreck and the other guys out of the race were involved were involved in that uh first crash. So you can see the guys that come off the road, so I'll take you back green flag racing here with Dylan Poteen in the lead. Back green flag racing and Dylan's gonna try to hold him. Zach Rogers got a hell of a run. He's going to try to use that inside to get something. Here he comes. Zach Rogers. Oh, a little bit of contact. But here he comes. Here comes Zach Rogers. Off into the corner. Dylan's trying to hold it on the outside. Oh, but Dylan. Zach Rogers couldn't get him. But Dylan's going to keep it and hold it right now. Oh, Zach Rogers. Ooh. Oh, there's contact oh, in the back, but we're still good. Zach Dylan Pote still trying to hold on, and Zach Rogers is behind him. Dylan Pote getting his shine right now. 
in front of everybody. Oh, there was contact in the back. But we're still good. We're going to go another lap. Green flag. Oh, wait. Yeah, we're still green flagging. Dylan Poteet in the lead right now. Stayed out. Going to do what he can right now to get that dodge in victory lane. I think we're still green flag, though. I think we are. I'm not too sure. We'll see coming down the back straightaway. Yeah, we're still green flag. Sean Henley holding up a bit of people in the back back there. But we're still green flag. Zach Rogers tried to get a break on Dylan Pote going down the straightaway. And there's the caution. There you go. Caution's out. Dylan Pote is most likely going to lead us, but he's going to have to pay because he stayed out to get that track position. Zach Rogers all over the dang racetrack trying to get to him. Dang, Zach. Hold on to it. Dylan Pote going to lead. Oh, but it looks like the caution's out for the 83. Red Bull hit the ball. Woo. Well, now watch this guy. This brings the third caution of the day out. Well, well, not Chris Watt. Chris Kyle did not bring it out though, but he was running six spot on the restart, and then like somebody always does, he goes off and he's gonna hit the wall. But I believe him and he uh, he could get back going. But uh, I believe cause Johnny Gardner got back going after his problems. I think he did. He, he did uh, never mind. He might not have, but 83 back here, he went off. The Robbie Gordon looking car. But anyway, he's going to get, Riley Houston going to get really, really sideways, and he's going to, this is what's going to bring the caution out. Oh, man, he hit really hard right there. But then back here, watch Cody Lamas. I don't know where he's at. Cody Lamas in the two machine. There's, oh, there's Johnny Gardner. Chris Kyle did what Johnny Gardner did, but anyway, watch what uh, watch what right here, what happens here. Now, I don't know. He just, he's never seen anybody lose it right there, and oh my god. And then Chris Watts is gonna do the same thing. There he is. Oh my god, he hit it harder than he did. Yeah, Chris Watts. Chris Washington, he wasn't even going as fast as Cody was, and he just. Lost it too, and oh my god, he hit it just as hard as he did. Michael back on the racetrack, but anyway, there's Dylan Pote. Let's take it back to Green. He's gonna switch hands back to the 09 car. We have had we have had some big big incidents today. This is I don't believe that's the last caution either that's gonna happen. No. And Dylan's not even gonna. I don't even think. I don't even know if he's gonna get out first because that 21 is holding him up on pit road. Just get that hell out of the way. But anyway, Dylan, they're fighting. There's a drag race. So Dylan gets the turbo boost off pit road. Dylan Pote wins off pit road. <laughs> oh man, but Dylan Pote in the one yellow dodge is gonna win off pit road. But out in front right now is gonna be that 09 staying out. And how about Joshua Collard and Cole Daly, two of the guys. That we don't really talk about too much because they don't really have too many good days. But road courses is their forte, and they know how to get around here pretty good. Joshua Collard, Joshua Collard actually teases Code Dally about uh, better than he is at road courses. But Joshua Collard needs to try to get a win here today to prove that he's the best on road courses. But we'll see what's gonna happen. Johnny Gardner back up here, but he's a lot down. But anyway, let's take you back to green. It's like racing again. Oh, we're still green. It's a good thing we don't really stay green for too long at this place, it seems like. But Johnny Gardner. Oh, Johnny Gardner is racing at 34 really hard right now for position. Oh, and you know, you don't want to go too hard up in there. Oh, Johnny Gardner just went off. I just seen that. Oh, and we did. Yep, we just had caution. We had a big rack back there. You know, yeah, a couple guys got destroyed over there. Cautioned out again. Johnny Gardner was one of them. Oh, oh Dylan Poteet! 
got into the 30 and he went around and Dylan was dominating. Uh, yeah, it was Joe oh, Dylan. He can't catch a break. Dylan Pote went off in the last corner. Dylan Pote just went off. Oh my god. Let's go back and look at that. That was crazy, man. Dylan. Dylan uh, catches the slow 30 car. He's running in the fifth position. This is the same thing that happened to Chris Washington. It looked like the 30 just cut him off and, the, and he had nowhere to go. And they both spin out. Oh my god. Hard hit right there, man. We'll back it up and take another look. It looks like the 30 just came down on him there. Didn't really think he was still there. Right there, yep, he comes down right there. Dylan was running his line and the 30 just took him out right there. Oh man, he hit hard. Dang man, Dylan had pitch strategy down and could win this race. Wow. Now let's see what happened to these guys. Jesus Christ. You see right here that Johnny Gardner, he was in, he was in the they say he was in the 23rd position, two laps down. But um, there he goes off the racetrack right there, and I believe he now uh, this time he's gonna be done going off the racetrack. And then behind him, somebody uh, Richard Johnson came in there and hit him. And there you go. So let's take you back to Green Flag. It's a tough break for Dylan and. 30 as well. Let's take it back green. Well, this is about survival right here and a lot of the guys have not been surviving but Rob Williams trying to hold out that in that 34 right now and these caution lights are helping them save gas. That's something they could, uh, they could be looking at right now. Oh boy. Oh cold cold. Oh boy. Oh man this ain't good. I think somebody yep somebody went off. Oh, somebody hit hard again. That was the 10. That was the 10 car, and Caution is out for the fifth time today, I believe. 10 car. Oh, he just, oh, what? I was just looking back at here, and we just had, oh, my God, Michael Norman, Chris Kyle. What in the world? And then coming back here, the leader's going to be... I believe the 21 Luke Walker was involved as well, and the 09 is still the leader here. And we just had, oh my God, let's go back and take a look at everything that just happened. Oh man, I don't know, I don't know. Eugene just came. Oh my God, heavens! Oh, and then Michael takes the whole front of his car. He's going to slide in the engine. Wow. Oh, he got stuck in the fence. Holy snicks. Oh, my God. How the hell did 21 get involved? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like the 21 just, 35 just came right up in front of him. Oh, oh, man, and Chris Kyle. Oh, and then Michael. Man, I was, I was, I just came back and I seen a whole bunch of cars just wrecking. We take one more look at that. We were, I don't know, we we're almost scot free. Oh my God, this is this is outrageous. Look at this. Bam. Oh God. Yeah, Eugene the Max has just been taking some hard licks this season, man. Michael has too. Michael's gonna take another one with the driver's side in that wall right there. Chris Kyle is taking some hits as well. So has Luke Walker. Let's ride on board with uh, Michael and see how. Oh no, no, let's ride on board with that 35 car. We're gonna go check what happened to the 10 of Brandon Viviani as well, so here we go. Oh shit. Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, but anyway. I mean, 
just old. Just got that car destroyed, man. Let's go see what happened in the can. Yeah, it looks like he just went off. Just like everybody else did. Yeah, he came in he came in the I'm surprised I'm surprised uh Ian Dutta and uh Ian Dutta did not go off. He almost did. He got lucky, man. I don't know how the forty and the twenty five I don't know how these guys ain't wrecking that little corner right there. The way they were going. But let's take it back to green. This big opportunity right here. Oh, oh, Cole gets right up on the back bumper. Cole's right there. Here comes Cole. Cole down, but the old nine blocks him. Here he goes. Cole's going to have to make a move down the back straight away. Here comes Cole. Oh, he's all over the back of him. Oh, contact. You're still green. But Cole had his chance right there to make a move on Rob Williams. Oh, the, somebody's all the way off. That, the, that is the 64. Oh, and the, oh, the 09 and the, wow. Oh, they're all pitting. Zach Rogers is going to take the lead. Zach Rogers in the lead. Here comes Jessica Shelton. They're on lap 19. I don't know how those guys did not wreck. Here comes Ian Dutta to the third spot. He's on the outside, rolling on the top. Gonna pass the 78. Don't count out Ian Dutta. Don't count out none of these guys yet. They're gonna get ready to come to the white flag. Oh, the 78. Never mind. Caution's out. Never mind. This race is over. But can the 18 make it? Here they come off the corner. Oh, yeah, he's going to make it. Jessica, but here comes the 32 trying to pass Jessica, but Jessica's going to get the second spot. Oh, slow down, guys. Oh, oh, in. But this is, whoa! Yo, oh, Dion Scott, and I believe so. Uh, I believe Nick Barney made contact with him. Yeah. Let's go back and check out what just happened. There. We've seen what happened to the '78, but let's go back and see what happened. Nick Barney and Dion Scott, they got Dion. Dion was on the outside of Nick Barney and these two got together and Dion just spun the 40 car out of Nick Barney that's a tough break because both of these guys are running good well, watch the hit watch the hit Dion take Dion gave the 40 no room going in there and they were on the final lap so so they knew that was going to happen but Dion's teammate and Joe Gibbs Zach Rogers is going to win here today oh my god look at that Jesus. Yeah, Zach Rogers stayed out and he's going to win here today. There's a 78 with problems. <sighs> but Zach Rogers is going to take the win here today. Oh, we're going to have to actually see. As you see the 78, the 40, the 40 is going to finish where he's at. Even though he took a, he took a bit a hit in the wall, but how about, how about, how about Ian Dutta, man? He could have wrecked like two times and he stayed up there in the, in the hunt. But it is looking like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a second. Wait a second. Jessica Shelton 
Jessica Shell is gonna win. Wait a minute. Oh, who won? Jessica Shell is gonna win. Jessica. Oh my God. Jessica Shelton wins in dramatic fashion. The 18 had to go down pit road, and Jessica gets her first nationwide series win. Have you ever? Hold on. The 18 and the 32 had to come down pit road. The 32 was on a totally different strategy than the 18. I don't know why he came down. But the 64 just stretched it out and they're racing on the pit road and Jessica is going to beat him while he, he, he passed the line on pit road. So he's going to finish second. Oh my god. Jessica beat Zach Rogers. Wow. Zach Rogers got beat by the girl. Oh my god. And look at this. There's only nine cars to finish the race on the track. Oh my god, have you ever, and Jessica, will go to Victory Lane today for Rusty Wallace, Inc. Racing, holy shit. I have not seen a race here at, like this crazy at Watkins Glen in my life. Oh my god, let's see the results. Oh, Jessica, Jessica is going to win here today at Watkins Glen. Have you ever... She almost won in the finale of the truck series, but she didn't come close. She finished in the top five in that race. But she will she will back it up here today and win. Wow, are you kidding me? I have never seen that. And she's all by herself doing an Alan Kawicki type of victory lap. But anyway, I cannot believe she won. And Jack Rogers, Rob Williams, Rob, Joshua Collard, Andre Erickson, Cole Daly, Sean Henley. They didn't even talk about him all day. He was involved in the wreck. He just sat there with the hood off all day and he finished in the top. Ian Dutton is still finishing in the top 10, but he wished he would have won the race. And Jessica's going to finally come down pit road all by herself. There's Nick Barney. He was involved in the last crash. But anyway, he'll still get the top 10. There's, uh, there's Deion Scott, Eugene the Max, Luke Walker, Brandon Viviani, Michael Norman, and the whole list goes on. Dylan Pochi got involved in incidents, Chris Kyle, Chris Jones, Cody Lamas, Chris Washer, everybody else involved in incidents here today. We'll go over it again. A lot of those guys are involved in the big wreck on, uh, on the first t corner on the first, uh, on the second lap, I believe. But, um... Yep, there you go. Jessica Shelton will win in style and in surprise. Wow. I had never seen a race like this at Road America. Oh, fuck. Watkins Glen, I fail. But anyway, there you go. You're finishing your thoughts on a lot of guys out of the race. Wow. Now, we'll see you later.